So in this video, I am going to uh, uh, show you how to set up the end-to-end -end setup for the change data capture uh, using the DBGM installations. So before installation this part, I would recommend visit this video on whiteboard. I have explained what is the change data capture, why and how we should use that, what are the benefit and what are the different system designs uh, you can easily solve with the help of the uh, CDC. So I assume that you have already installed the MySQL database. Uh, I'm going to use the 8G11 and the Docker. So I have also uh, made one video on how to install uh, the MySQL on MacBook and how to install the Docker. I will share those links to you. And all the code, what I'm going to use, code and command, everything is there in this github so if you go the github vinod suman uh, i made one repository change data capture so you have the two important one is the yml and the json file and all the steps i have given here so you can just follow these steps okay let me show you my uh, installation so this is my uh, mysql that is up and running 8.0.1 uh, make sure you use the 8.0.1 it is very much compatible with the division and also we have the docker here so if you can see i don't have any image any container here right? so everything i'm going to do it from the scratch okay uh, just for this uh, the document uh, it will be help you out so i have installed my sql this is the locations i have installed uh, and uh, let me show you where is this location so here my sql here right so what you have to do at these locations in these locations you have to create one configuration file for the MySQL. So let me show you how you will do that. Just follow this, you have to create one MyCNF. So the command what I have given there, use the same command. It will ask the laptop password because I use the sudo and then do the should do vi okay insert mode and this content you have to do that the benefit is that it will enable you uh, bean log as i explained in the video where i was explaining change data capture uh, the architecture part so it will enable the all the required things here right and then you have to save it right so now this is this part is done right now you have to open the mysql so let me open then same here As a root, you have to enter in MySQL. Now you have to create one user uh, that is name of the DVGM and I have given the password. You can give any password. So you copy here and create. It will create the user, right? And then you have to give, give few grant permissions. So this is the correct one. Okay, and then you have to first the privileges, so everything should be immediate effective, right? So this part is also done. And then you have to restart the MySQL because we have changed something here uh, or the CNF file, right? So you can just stop. You have to ask the laptop password. And then you have to start it again. Okay, now we have to install the division. So what for that, what I have done, you can see these two files, right? These two files for the one YML decomposer file and the JSON, I have kept in one folder here. So if you see in this folder, right? So I have copied these two files. This is as it is this one. So you can get the content from here. Let me explain the content. So go to the YML. This is the Docker Composer. So it will install the three things. It will uh, use the Zookeeper, this version. And when they will create the container, they will, uh, they will use the name Zookeeper demo. So it is easy to logging in all those things. And it will run the 2G21821. So it is internally it will running in the Docker. So no need to uh, the outside because internally it was used by the Kafka. Then install the Kafka. 
I have given the container name. This is the image name for the zookeeper, and this is image name for the Kafka, right? And of course, Kafka will be using the zookeeper. It will depend upon here, depend upon here, and uh, all the required things for the Kafka. Okay, and uh, the port nine zero nine two nine zero two nine two means inside the uh, container it will be on when on the nine zero nine two, and from the outside also it will we can connect with the help of the nine zero nine two. And then this is the main part of the uh, DVGM that is called the connect and here is the image for the connect. Uh, we given the container name, you can give anything and it will run on the port number 8083, right. It will depend upon the Kafka, connect with the Kafka and Jukeeper and all the required things I have given that, right. So now to make sure this two file should be here, right, and give this command. It will create the, it will install the three things. Uh, inside the docker, zookeeper, kafka and the division. It will take the few minutes time. So if you can see this, can start installing. Once this image will be installed, so you can see those images in the docker desktop. So if you come here, you can see here three image has been come. Right now it is not showing any image, right? So after this installation, you can see the three image has been there. So you can see this three image has been downloaded. So let me confirm from the Docker side. Yeah, so this three image is already done, right? So it might be started also if you go here. This is running fine, right? On the different port, right? Calf, Zookeeper, we are not accessing outside, but the Kafka and the division is connecting from the outside. So now move to the next part. So now we have to use the connector, right? So right now, if you see, we don't have any miss connector means you have to inform the DVGM which MySQL you have to connect. Before that, we have to come MySQL and create the scheme. So show database right now, only this database is there. So you have to create scheme MySQL, use MySQL, and then create table students and keep some data insert some data into students everything I mentioned in the command sheet right so now if you see we have right so then this step is also done now we have to uh, let me show you what is the connector how the you mysql will connect with the uh, division so first you have to give the name for the connector i have given the mysql connector name you can give anything so which the class name that inside the division and what is the ip address so what you have to do you have to check the ip address uh from your system so so you have to change accordingly okay and then uh, what is the port my division is running 3306 i have showed you what is my password for the database for this division division is the uh, username in the database and the port uh, server id i have given the config file same ip address the uh, port number i have given here you can give any server name i have given the server name my sql school server you can give any name what are the things you want to monitor? I can, I want to monitor the schema of the school and I want to monitor the student. So whatever the table you want to monitor and send their update insert command in the Kafka. So you have to put it here. So one database and one table I want to uh, monitor, right? And then you have to give the Kafka, which uh, Kafka and what is the port number and the topic name. So it will create this topic name. So it will create the schema change if any schema change then it is going there and it will also create one topic with the student i will show you right once it is there then go and uh, here come here and check what ip address ip address we have to update it now go to the different 
command after that you have to connect the division with the mysql so you have to use this part so once you post this command it will connect your mysql with the division now connectivity has been done uh, then you can start i think checking so if you see the logs of you let me do that you can see this three containers running so if you want to check any logs suppose I'm, i want to check this the uh, the division log right so name is the division demo and you can see this connectivity everything is working fine right so now go to the kafka one so i will go the kafka inside because kafka demo is a container name put the bash we went inside then go to the user bin and then list all the kafka topic so you can see that it has been created two list one for the student one for the school that will be monitor this one right now you change something it will be effect here so let me watch this topic how you watch so you have to from beginning so here we will monitoring the which topic this is schema topic right and open one more for the so if you see schema topic whatever we have changed it is showing here but i will show the first one and the second one i would say that connect docker exec minus it kafka demo and bash right and go to the same user bin so if anything change in the student table it will show here now go to the mysql if it is mysql if you go here and add some more information more table so i am adding suppose 2 and i am giving anything uh, right now you can see one one is added here so you now you're getting the kafka things let me check what is there so go and open the json formatter you can see the, you, you have to watch the pair word and you see it was earlier nothing was there this is the new record we get has been added right uh, you can do one thing you can just update the record again i'm putting here some space so you can observe any new message come so suppose i want students set name is equal to given marks where id is equal to 2 so now spelling mistake id is equal to 2 right now if you see observe here you will get the message before it was the even uh, b gets now it is the even max so let me take this one and put into the json format so if you can see here uh, payload if you observe carefully so before it was the b gets after that it is the even max right so let me show you one delete operation also. So let me one delete operation. So delete from students where id is equal to 2. It will generate another one if you see here. It has been generated new one. So if you can take this and formatter you can see before it was the even max after that this is not so you can do any kind of things now observe the is if any schema change here right so here is the schema change right so do one thing go and create new table create table in the school schema i am creating new table 
integer name bear care and now if observe here it will generate new message right so this is the end to end demo so you can whatever changes you in the my square it is coming here right uh, please subscribe this channel and if any questions you can use that everything i have documented here in this repository so you can get all the informations here right yeah thank you very much